Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Yummy Mash and welcome to yet another horror game. This game is called It Moves. I think this is based on a creepypasta I, I read at some point in my time. Because believe it or not guys, I actually do read my fair share of creepypastas and I do quite enjoy it. And this might be based on, uh, and this is just a guess, I might not be 100% right. It might be based on the one there's a face in the mirror and it stares at this person and it moves and it tries to break through the mirror. It's pretty creepy actually. I don't know if that's going to be what this is. It might be something completely different, but we'll see when we get into the game. So let's start a new game. Um, I thought starting the new game was just left clicking, <laughs> but apparently not. It's not left clicking. Maybe it's like enter or something. There we go. Okay, awesome. Uh, adjust the, the brightness so that the left bar on the TV blends into the background and the center bar is hardly visible. Oh, I think that's about right. Yeah, seems about right to me. Wow, it is pretty dark right now. I may have to turn on the lights at some point, guys. Ooh, scary background music. Okay. Bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. While some children might complain about being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game, when I was a child, nighttime was something to truly fear. Somewhere in the back of my mind, it still is. This is me. Hey guys! I mean, hey, hey guys, I'm so totally cool. It's a wolf. I have a picture of a wolf in my room. It's a poster of a movie. Lots of toys and a teddy bear. Mr. Teddy. Let's um, uh, go outside. There we go. I cannot prove what happened to me was objectively real, but I can swear that what I experienced was genuine horror. Genuine fear, I would say. Uh, a fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equaled. I will relate it to you all now as best as I can. Make of it what you will. Hey, this is looking pretty decent. I'm quite excited for how this is going to turn out. So let's figure out what this uh, what this fear is then, shall we, guys? But I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. It's like he's the narrator and we're kind of like the audience. It's really cool, actually. Um, let's go talk to this guy then, shall we? Hey there. This is my father. Hi, Dad. How you doing? Yeah, shoes. Who gives a shit about shoes? Let's have a look around the house. I can't remember exactly when it started, but my apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with me being moved into a room of my own. Uh, is, is this way you don't sleep with your mummy and your daddy anymore? You know, I was I got I had scary nights and I slept with my mom when I was a kid. Uh, this is my mother. Well, okay, there's, there's not much else to say about your mom or dad, is there? Like, this is my dad, this is my mom. You don't need to know anything else about them. And uh, Let's not touch her stuff, okay? So, yeah, let's just leave the room. She looks like she might beat me up, you know? Let's check this room over here. This is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we both had shared until then. Oh, I slept with my brother, eh? That's cool. Uh, I was eight years old at the time. And until then, I'd shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own. And as a result, I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk beds which we used to share. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk which seemed far more adventurous to me. Hey, see, that's not bad, that's pretty cool. Let's go back into my room then, shall we? Hmm. I'm gonna get to the scary shit soon, guys. Is that my mom? Mom? Oh, hey, mom, it is. <laughs> I guessed it, guys. All right, it's bedtime. Already? Yes, I I'm sorry about the narration, guys, I won't do that. Uh, yes, adults need their sleep. You see, you'll be sleeping alone for the first time. You excited? Yes, Mom. <sighs> oh, so this is when it happened. This is my first night of sleeping in the top bunk by myself. Is this going to be like, uh, you know, you guys know of sleep paralysis, right? Where you're in a deep sleep and then you kind of wake up like you're half awake and your body, you can't move your body. And because you're kind of still asleep, you, you like uh, have um, obviously like visions and stuff like that, that aren't really there. It's actually pretty damn scary, and I've had it happen to me in the past, you know. Uh, one time I was uh, obviously, you know, I was asleep, I woke up, I couldn't move, 
and there was like this skeleton hand and it came onto my bed. It was obviously just some terrible, terrible vision, terrible nightmare. Scared the living crap out of me, guys. But yeah, anyway. Alright, I'm turning off the lights. Good night. Good night. Oh god, it's gonna get scary very quickly. I'm gonna close my eyes. There we go, guys. Gonna have a nice, nice sleep. The Cave, Chapter 1. Awesome. This is a dream then, right? I'm in a cave and in my dream. Hey, maybe Hypno like forced me into here. Is this where this game turns into like an RPG or something? How cool would that be? Alright, so we saved the game. This is obviously just a dream, guys. Let's go talk to this very strange creature over here. Hey there. Um uh, Oh, it's just it's on top of the tree. I can't actually talk to it. Okay, let's just walk past. Alright, cool. Yeah, this, this some Scary looking creatures, actually. That looks like a, like a, from that movie, I think it's called Gremlins or something. Or it looks like a possessed monkey. There we are. What the hell is this all about? I wonder what's cooking. Human flesh. A pot and some ragged cloth. Alright. Who lives here? Oh, God, look at that guy staring through the window. Oh, God. Stalking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it more as an intense research on one individual. By the way, you're missing your suckers under your bed with me. <laughs> what? With you? Oh, God. <sighs> oh, thanks for that. I'm just going to go now. <laughs> oh, my God. That's pretty creepy. A cold and welcoming breeze comes from the bottom. Oh, yeah, I may as well go down. You know, there's... Why not? What else am I going to do in my uh, terrifying nightmare I'm about to have? This is all going to happen just because I slept in a new bed. What's this? What's this thing? A weird mushroom. It looks poisonous. Well, let's not eat it then. I don't want to be uh, having visions. Hallucinations. That's the word I was looking for. Hallucinations, guys. Um, something. I think something moved behind me. I'm kind of creeped out. Something's like sparkling on this wall. Uh, whatever. More mushrooms? There's something sparkling here, but it's not letting me uh, click it. So let's just keep going. Oh god, so this is the cave, obviously. Oh! Oh shit, is that the stalker guy? He's totally stalking me, guys. Oh god. I don't like the feel of this, or where this is going. Let's just keep going, shall we? It's the goddamn stalker guy! This is, I'm obviously liking his lairs. Stupid cave. Oh god. He's gonna... Oh no! What is this shit? Oh, it's a puzzle? Hey. Yeah, I just need to get rid of one more. Come on, better work. Oh, man, I hate puzzles. <laughs> this is totally random. Okay, there we go, guys. Lentils keep going on. I'm actually pretty scared. <laughs> I'm pretty scared right now. I don't even want to know what that is. So I probably shouldn't go back the way I came. I think that's about it. This is like cake. Mmm, mushroom. I thought it was like vanilla cake or something. I look like that looked quite tasty. Let's keep going. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm playing in the daylight because I just woke up and I really felt like making some videos. So uh, here I am. And uh, hey, stalker guy. How you doing? You know, it's nice to see you too. Good morning. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Don't know why he'd like put a puzzle in the way. Is he like trying to hide something from me? Wouldn't you think he'd want me to come deep into the cave so he could like do really evil stuff to me? Oh god, there's like an earthquake now. And I'm, I'm no longer running, guys. I'm walking. That can't be a good sign. <laughs> that can't be good. I know everything's getting red. And now there's a giant arachnid with multiple faces chasing me. I'm so scared. Oh no. Did he eat me? Oh shit, guys. All right, that was pretty creepy, I, I will say. I did not like that one bit. Nope. All right, I'm just gonna wake up from my evil nightmare now. I'm gonna feel a lot better in the morning. There we go. Mom, I had a bad dream, <laughs> Mom. Oh God, let's go and visit my mother and tell her about my horrible, horrible nightmare. Mom, it fucking had the worst dream ever, man. Mom? Oh, she finally woke up. 
Sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Oh, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute and we can eat breakfast together. Alright, hurry up. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Okay, Mum. What a nice mother I have. She sure is a, a great, responsible woman. There we go, let's get changed. There we go, looking all swag now. And so another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. So let's just skip that shit. One thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time for me to sleep again. Oh god, here we go again, guys. Let the, the horrible, horrible nightmares begin. Oh no. I wonder what this uh, screwed up dream's gonna be about. I'm, I'm really liking the concept of this game, by the way, guys. I think this is quite interesting. You know, I like the idea of, um... Of dreams. I like the idea of uh, being able to just morph reality. Because anything could happen in a dream. Because it's not reality. So it can be as screwed up and weird as you can possibly make it. And it still makes sense. Labyrinth. Yeah, I'll save the game. There we go. I like how there's a save point. That's cool. There's going to be probably more puzzles for me to attempt to complete. And I don't like that. I, I hate puzzles, guys. Oh, God. Buttons. Goddamn buttons. Oh, that one has a happy face. Look, there's a happy face there, and a sad face there. Oh, there's totally something in this labyrinth with me, and I'm not liking it. Wait, really? Do all these buttons, like, totally not work? Okay, so that one works. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so that one works. Let's try the other happy one. There we go, and then... I, oh, I don't know if it's going to be this one. Oh, you blow, dude! Alright. Da -da 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 -da. Pressing buttons. Oh, what's that song? Uh... Britain did the buttons, yeah, uh-huh, but you keep strutting. Oh, right, let's go. Let's go this way. I like the way we're going over here as opposed to over here I'm going to look at. Some kind of machinery, sweet. Where the hell am I leading myself to right now? Oh, that's a dead. There's totally something moving in here. Oh, God. It's probably coming for me. And I I do not want to know what it's going to do to me when it gets me. Oh, hey there, Rose. Uh... Ah! Holy shit! That was quite creepy. Thanks for the jump scare, man. Yeah, I like how your face is now plastered on my screen. I really appreciate it. Is there a shadow down here? No. Wait, there is totally a shadow. Look at that. Look, in the bottom left corner is moving. Oh, God. Yeah, there's something down there. I don't like that. Let's get out of here, guys, if I know the exit. Oh, God. Where is the exit of this place? Ah, must be this wall. Oh, no. Am I supposed to be talking to these ladies? I feel like I'm not. Hey. I'm like talking to them all and they're totally growling at me. I don't think this is a great idea, to be uh, completely honest with you guys. Oh man, the shadow demon's trying to kill me, man. Ah! I got scared, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry. I got really scared. Shadow demon. Oh god. What, is this an event? Can I can I climb through the vent? Oh god, oh god, totally no, no. Hey. I I might need to use this fire extinguisher soon. The music's getting like louder. God, I'm, I'm a little bit terrified. Oh man. I've got I've got goosebumps and it's daylight. That just shows how good the atmosphere is in this game. Hello! Hey, hey, you look beautiful. You have ravishing eyes. Mm-hmm. And a very nice smile. You totally do not need to brush your teeth. Okay. When you awaken from a deep sleep to something moving or stirring, it can take away, uh, take a few moments for you to truly understand what is happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears, even when lucid. Something was moving, there was no doubt about that. Oh my god, there's something moving in my dark room? Oh god, guys. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark, almost pitch black, but there was enough light creeping in from outside to outline the room. Two thoughts appeared in my mind almost simultaneously. The first was that my parents were in bed because the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silence. The second thought turned to the noise, a noise which had obviously woken me. That was it. 
Bed sheets rustling in the dark and someone breathing. That is totally creepy as hell. I'm so happy it's daylight right now. Oh god. If I played this nighttime, this would totally suck. As if some disturbed sleeper was attempting to get all too comfortable in the bottom bunk. There's, there's somebody underneath me? Oh no, 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 no. Don't look down there, man. This is where you do the thing, you know, when you're on top bunk and you've got the lower bunk and you, you and you go put your head down to have a look. You know that? Do you guys ever do that? Because I used to have a double bed. I had, had a double bed and I had a bottom bunk as well. You know, it's, it's always pretty scary. At night, you know, when things move and your eyes play tricks on you. I lay there in disbelief thinking that the noise was either my imagination or perhaps just my pet cat. Yeah, it's probably your cat, dude. Just go back to sleep. Just forget about it. Forget about it. It was then that I noticed my door was shut. So the cat could not have got in, right? Uh, perhaps my mom had checked in on me and the cat had sneaked in my room. Yes, that must have been it. I turned to face the wall, closing my eyes, in the vain hope that I could fall back to sleep, as if the rustling noise from underneath me ceased. I thought that I must have disturbed my cat. Oh god, I'm, I'm actually getting a little bit scared thinking about this. This is this is this has got to totally be one of those creepy pastors. But quickly, I realized that the visitor in the bottom bunk was much less mundane than my pets trying to sleep, and much more sinister. It's that stalker guy, isn't it? He's come back for me. That arachnid with three heads. As if alerted to and disgruntled by my presence, the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum in their bed. Oh god, guys. I could hear the sheets twist and turn with increasing ferocity. Fear then gripped me, not like the subtle sense of unease I'd experienced earlier, but now potent and terrifying. Oh god, guys. My heart raced as my eyes panicked. Scanning the almost impenetrable darkness, I let out a cry. As most young boys do, I instinctively shouted on my mother. I could hear something stir on the other side of the house. But as I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me, the bunk bed suddenly started to shake violently as if gripped by an earthquake scraping against the wall. Oh my god. I could hear the sheets below me thrashing around as if tormented by malice. I did not want to jump down to safety. Yeah, I, I agree man, that thing might totally grab you. Putting me into the darkness. Yeah, so I stayed there, white knuckles clenching my own blanket like a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. I will never sleep in that bed again. If that was me, I I will not sleep in there. I will go I will sleep on the floor. I'll burn that bed and I'll sleep on the floor. That's what I'll do. Or maybe it's the room. Maybe it's Mr. Teddy that's haunted. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? Yes. I cried and my mother consoled me. Tears of fear followed by relief streamed down my face. Yet through all of the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was so upset. I cannot explain it, but it was as though whatever has been in that bunk would return if I ever even so much as spoke of it. Whether that was the truth, I do not know. But as a child, I felt as if that unseen menace remained close, listening. My mother lay in the empty bunk, promising to stay there until morning. I remember the next day wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in that suffocating room. It was a Saturday and I played outside quite happily with my friends. Although our house was not large, we were lucky to have a long sloping garden in the back. We played there often, as much of it was overgrown and we could hide in the bushes. Climb in the huge sycamore tree which towered above all else and easily imagine ourselves in the throes of a grand adventure. As fun as it all was, occasionally my eye would turn to that small window in my room. Ordinary, slight and innocuous. But for me, that thin boundary was a looking glass into a strange cold pocket of dread. Outside, the lush green surroundings of our garden filled with the smiling faces of my friends. Inside, the feeling of something in that room watching me play, waiting for the night when I would be alone, eagerly filled with hate. It may seem, sound strange to you, but by the time my parents ushered me back into that room for the night, I said nothing. I didn't protest. I didn't even make any excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. Yeah, man. Another night. Oh, God. Things are getting worse. Much worse. Am I asleep already? Oh, factorized. 
So there's a cavern, then a labyrinth, and now a factory. Yeah, these dreams are definitely getting more screwed up as we get along, that's for sure. Feel like I'm entering the depths of hell every time I sleep, and some demon or something has come into reality. You know, this totally reminds me a little bit of uh, Insidious, I think the movie's called. With the demon and the, uh, the what's it called, the fervor. Kinda like that. Let's just keep going then. Is it gonna be the same room over and over? Hmm. It is. I think this is gonna slightly change as I progress, guys. At least that's my feeling right now. Let's see, so there's seven chains and a red flag on the right. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, change this time. The eyes are now flashing. Hey there! A huge skull! How you doing? I'm glad. Yeah, that's nice. You keep blinking at me, guy, dude. Uh, is it still a huge skull? It's still a huge skull, guys. Let's just keep going. Oh god, now what? Ah, they're blinking even faster. Well, isn't that just nice? I can't even turn back because the, the stupid doors fall down. Oh no. It's gonna do that noise now when I get to the, this door right here, watch. Oh, okay, I was totally wrong. Sorry, guys. I suck. I hate to think, like, what's gonna happen. The suspense is pretty good in this game. How many of these doors do I have to go through? There we go! Oh, God! I was blinking real fast now. Hi to you too. What did he do to me? Did I wake up or am I in some... Oh no. Oh, it's a satanic ritual. Brilliant. Just what I wanted. Maybe my bunk bed was on top of like some satanic ritual. Oh, it's a labyrinth again, guys. Oh no, don't tell me I'm like trapped here for all eternity now. I feel like I might be here for the rest of my living, or my soul. So I'm not even living. My soul's just trapped here now for all eternity. That blows. Can I get out of here? I guess it kind of does. The hell? So there's, there's like cage doors I can't get through right there. Oh my god. I hope I make it back to reality. Oh yeah, he, he did tell the story in reality, so I guess I do make it out somehow. But I hate to think how this game's gonna end up as we get even deeper into it. What, the, what is this? Hello! Hi! Demon, how are you doing? I pressed the switch, Demon. You mad, bro? I think he's mad. So, oh, there is a run feature. I, I didn't know that. I blow. Oh! Hi! What, the, what just happened? Okay. I bet there's more switches around. Aha! I must have opened a door. Hi there, Shadow Guy! Um, how are you? I'm not too bad. Actually, I, this is pretty bad. I'm not, I'm not really happy. Uh, wait, a picture of a green landscape, but it's in really bad shape. Okay. Yeah, I could be in a much better mood if you didn't bring me to this, uh, this place. I'm going to be quite frank with you, man. I'm not really enjoying myself. I'm a little bit freaked out right now, and I don't really want to be here. Um, how the, where do I go even? Okay, it's another puzzle. Gonna have to find some more switches to try and open the doors. Wherever those are. Maybe one of these is a switch, I don't know. They could be hidden. Okay. No, it's not. Let's just keep going, shall we? And we'll uh, try and figure this one out. I feel like I'm going the same way over and 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 over. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna make you all sleepy by my yawn right there. Can I go through the right? No. I'm on left. I don't know my left and rights, guys. I, I suck. Okay. So there's actually switches behind the doors. So I would imagine, like, the plan is to, can I, it's just an altar, it hasn't changed. So I'll figure this out. Oh, there's a switch. 
There we go. Another door opened. Let's go and try and find it. And there's probably another switch behind. Oh, hey there! You know, I don't really want to open that door, so you can stay in there, Mr. Shadow Guy. Uh, maybe it's over here with the door open. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, nope, nope, nope. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, face! Creepy mask. Let's press switch. Oh, isn't this glorious? It's like circus music. Oh, there's a, there's a, a demon face! That's just what I wanted to see, and it's smiling at me! Hello! Uh, hi, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, that's nice. You have nice eyes, too. You got a very big nose, though. How about I didn't insult him? I'm um, sorry about the big nose. Oh, that's the creepy mask. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty damn creepy. <laughs> pretty darn creepy, if I do say so myself. There's another switch. Oh, it turns on the blood water. It's got to be blood, right? Yeah, red liquid. It's always blood in these games. Every horror game, red liquid, it's blood. Okay. So I had a little bit of a uh, slow time realizing where the last switch was, but I found it. Well, not the last switch, but the switch before that. So the switches on the right are the one that I've already uh, used. What the hell are those faces on the floor? What the hell is this stuff? Right, I'm just going to press this. Oh no! Get away from the- Get away from those things! Oh my god! Thanks for trying to terrify me, dude! I appreciate it! Thank you! You know, thank you for bringing me to this, this horrible place! You know, I ain't complaining... ...much. Uh, aha! Uh -huh. Bam! Don't do- oh, don't do anything too scary, please! Uh, there's some more, uh... ...airport lights, I guess you could say. Can I go down here into that room now? Oh, yeah, I can. That has got to be the last switch. Let's go back to the ritual thing. Yay! Oh, God! What's happening to me? What the goddamn just happened to my body right there? Okay. It's funny how certain words can remain hidden from your mind, no matter how blatant or obvious they are. One word came to me that night, lying there in the darkness, alone frightened, aware of a rotten t change in the atmosphere. A thickening of the air as if someone had displaced it. As I heard the first casual twists of the bed sheets below, the first anxious increase to my heartbeat at the realisation that something was once again in the bottom bunk. That word. A word which had been sent into exile filtered up through my consciousness, breaking free of all repression. Gasping for air, screaming, etching, and carving itself into my mind. Ghosts. I was thinking, like, demon, which is probably even more scary than ghosts, to be honest, but yeah, that's cool. As this thought came to me, I noticed that my unwelcomed visitor had ceased moving. The bed sheets lay calm and dormant, but they had been replaced by something far more hideous. A slow, rhythmic, rasping breath heaved and escaped from the thing below. It's been brought into reality? No way, dude. I could imagine its chest rising and falling with each sorpid, wheezing, and garbled breath. I shuddered and hoped beyond all hope that it would leave without occurrence. occurrence. The house lay as it had the previous night in a thick blanket of darkness. Silence prevailed, all but for the perverted breath of my as-yet-unseen bunkmate. I lay there terrified. I just wanted the thing to go to leave me alone, but what did it want? Then something unmistakably chilling transpired. It moved. The name of the game! Hey! It moved in a way different from before. When it threw itself around in the bottom bug, it seemed unrestrained without purpose, almost animalistic. But that thing lying there in the darkness, that thing seemed intent on terrorizing a young boy calmly and nonchalantly sat up. It sat up. Holy, holy shit, guys! It's, it's, it's gonna come for me! It's literally directly underneath me! Oh no. Its laboured breathing had become louder. Now only a mattress and a few flimsy wooden slats separated my body from the unearthly thing below. Oh god, he's already- look at him like freaking out over there. I lay there, my eyes filled with tears, a fear which mere words cannot relate to you or anyone else course through my veins. I would not have believed that this fear could have been heightened, but I was so wrong. 
I imagine what this thing would look like sitting there listening from below my mattress, hoping to catch the slightest hint that I was awake. Imagination then turned to an unnerving reality. It began to touch the wooden slats which my mattress sat on. It seemed to caress them carefully, running what I imagined to be fingers and hands across the surface of the wood. Ah! What the hell, dude? Turn this down a little bit, I'm getting scared. Then with great force, it prodded angrily between the two slats into the mattress. Even through the padding, it felt as though someone had viciously stuck their fingers into my side. I let out an almighty cry and the wheezing shaking. A moving thing in the bunk below replied in kind by violently vibrating the bunk. Oh no. Small flakes of paint powdered onto my blanket from the wall as the frame of the bed scraped along it backwards and forwards. Once again I was bathed in light and there stood my mother loving caring as she always was, with a comforting hug and calming words which eventually subdued with hysteria. Of course she asked what was wrong but I could not say, I dared not say, I simply said one word over and over and over again. Nightmare. Why won't you... Is he going to be mad at you for telling her? This pattern of events continued for weeks if not months. Well that blows! Oh god, that's a long time. Each time I would scream so as to not provide this admonition with the time to prod and feel for me. Oh my god. Your mom would spend time in the bottom bunk. I'm, I'm going to stop the narration a little bit because my throat's starting to hurt from all this reading, guys. So uh, if you guys could read a little bit. Um, faint illness. Oh, you, you're trying to get reasons to sleep in your parents' bed. That, that's smart, dude. First few hours. Yeah. God, you must you must hate night times. The room where the light from outside did not sit right alone with that thing. Oh my god. The thing could not harm me when my mother was present. Same for the father. If anyone else is in the room, then it just disappears, right? Dayom. Does this continue? Or is this the end? It continues, guys. Anger overload. I think the thing's pretty pissed off at me. Oh, wow, look at this. It's kind of turned a little bit like 3D or something. That's pretty cool. Right, that door's locked. Where the hell are we now? What the hell's on this, uh, this spike right here? Earthquake. Piece of meat hangs from the spike in the wall. What the hell, dude? Oh my god. Let's just get. Let's just try and uh, get this over with. Thanks, random red face. Oh god, I appreciate uh, it. Thanks, big spider. Oh wait, I can't go past the big spider. Alright, this is getting more screwed up, guys. What's in these jars? Another earthquake. Heads of some sort. What about this one? Let me look. Disgusting stuff inside. Ugh. Hey, face. Is that stalker guy? I think he's just having a bath or something. I won't disturb him. That'll be rude. Let's keep going. So many cobwebs. Probably so many spiders. Well, that's a lot of stairs. I would hate having, I would hate having to go up those every day. Imagine if the toilets were up the stairs and you had to go up them. Uh, thanks. What's going to happen to me now? I'm kind of trapped here. I'm just waiting for the inevitable now. And I don't like where this is going. I'm just gonna kinda walk around. Maybe I have to actually interact with these, uh... Oh my god, what's going on? Is this the thing? I got goosebumps again, guys. Ah! No, the ceiling! Oh, I'm totally dead! There we go, I got squished. Uh... Thanks a lot! Thingy. I don't even know what killed me. Oh. What the? This game is totally screwed up, guys. I mean, seriously, what the hell is going on? Deformed baby phases? Oh my god, what the hell? I'm gonna run. They look like alien heads, actually. Hey, that one grew a mustache. I don't know if that was there before. 
What the hell? Why do the mouths close as I walk past? Is there a reason for that? Oh wait, now they're all closed. That's actually pretty freaky. <laughs> it's like they know something's gonna happen and they're waiting for it. Why does this one look so happy? Screw you! Ugh. Something bad is gonna happen. I hope my face doesn't get plastered on one of those. Hey look, I'm not a baby, okay? I ain't a baby. Why are you, why are you doing this to me? I'm a, I'm a young boy. I have friends. And I don't deserve this. Ah! What the hell? Screw that shit! Oh, no! No, I'm so screwed! Can I jump down from here? Oh, God! The babies! The babies! No! Oh, God! I got mauled by demon babies. Is that my mom? Mom! This bed totally sucks. Oh my god. The greatest fears were realized in the winter. The days grew short, and the longer nights merely provided this wretch with more opportunities. It was a difficult time for my family. My grandmother, a wonderfully kind and gentle woman, had deteriorated greatly since the death of my grandfather. My mother was trying her best to keep her in the community as long as possible. However, dementia is a cruel and degenerative illness robbing a person of their memories one day at a time. Soon she recognised none of us and it became clear that she would need to be moved from her house to her nursing home. Before she could be moved, my grandmother had a particularly difficult few nights and my mother decided that she would stay with her. As much as I loved my grandmother and felt nothing but anguish at her illness, to this day I feel guilty that my first thoughts were not of her, but of what my nightly visitor may do should I become aware of my mother's absence. Her presence being the one thing which I was sure was protecting me from the full horror of this thing's reach, I rushed home from school that day and immediately wrenched the bed sheets and mattress from the lower book, removing all of the slats and placing an old desk, a chest of drawers and some chairs which were kept in a cupboard where the bottom bunk used to be. I told my father I was making it an office which he found adorable, but I would be damned if I give that thing a place to sleep for one more night. Hey, you're a pretty smart kid for doing that, you don't know, respect. As darkness approached, I lay there knowing my mother was not in the house. Oh god, it's totally gonna get me. It knows my mom's not in that house, and it's gonna do really, really horrible stuff to me. I don't, it's gonna show its face. It's gonna show its face now, and I'm gonna be freaking freaked out. It's gonna be the most ugliest face ever. My only impulse was to sneak into her jewelry box and take a small family crucifix. Hey, good idea. That might work. Maybe, I don't know. While my fa- Dog damn it, kitty, I'm making a video. While my family were not very religious, at that age I still believed in God and hoped that somehow this would protect me. Although fearful and anxious while gripping the crucifix under my pillow tightly in one hand, sleep came. And I drifted off to a dream that I would hope I would awaken in the morning without incidents. Unfortunately, that night was the most terrifying of all. Shit! Here we go, guys. I've had some screwed up dreams until this point, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This one's going to totally blow. Frankenstein! No wonder this one's the scariest! I don't know why I need to save the game. Actually, I guess I need to save the game. I'm gonna close this door because the kitten's going haywire. It's going crazy out there. Doing crazy shiz. Um, I don't know why it's a save feature, really. Uh, the game's not too long, I don't think. And I I suppose if somebody has to go, like, you know, go out or something, then, you know, it's good to come back to it. But that's okay. I'm doing this all in one session, by the way, guys. Uh, the feeling that something's invading your privacy, even without ill will, is still disturbing. Alrighty. Hey there, thingy! I'm gonna follow it. It kinda looks like the amnesia monster. It looks like a crab head. It looks like Squidward. No, not Squidward. It looks like, um, the thing from, uh, Futurama. What's his name? What's his name? I can't remember his name. Oh, I'm gonna go down this. I'm just gonna go down this ladder. I don't know why I'm going down this ladder following that creature, but... Hey, I wanna get this nightmare over with as fast as possible. Let's run as well. I never run. Oh my god. There's a lot of uh, lights, and yeah, I'm surprised all the light bulbs are still working, considering probably how long they've been hanging there. Unless that monster changes them daily. 
or uh, not daily, like monthly, I would say. Somebody being tortured down here? What is going on? I feel like I'm going to get led into a trap. Oh my god. Hello? Hey guys, I don't want to crash your party, but can you show me the exit or something? Like, I really want to wake up and, you know, I'm getting pissed off with these, uh, these horrible dreams and shit. It's quite a longer pathway, isn't it? There we go! Hey! It totally is a party! It's like a dance floor and they're all boogieing, you know? Shaking their hips and shit. Hey guys! What the hell are these things? Why am I laying down on here? And what are they gonna do with me? Hey, kitty! What? Yes, kitty. That's nice, kitty. Why is he waving his arms? Oh, hey, everyone! Are they gonna, like, rip me open and, like, tear out my heart or something? Kitty! Can you see I'm totally recording this? Um, can I I can't move. Yeah, it's just gonna happen. I'm just gonna let this happen. Come on, guys. Get it over with. Is they, are they gonna stick one of those things on my head? Kitty! I'm gonna throw her out. I'm gonna throw her out, guys. Pick her up, and I'm gonna close the door. And, and that's totally what's gonna happen. They totally ripped me open. Kitty, guys. Say hello to everyone, Kitty. Uh, kitty, please don't bite me. Uh, You're awfully quiet nowadays. Is there something wrong, son? Nothing. Are you sure? Is there something wrong with your new room? Have they not realized it when I have constant nightmares every single night and my mom has to come into that room every single night? Are you lonely without your brother? Just say yes, man. Just say yeah. What are they gonna do, get pissed off at you? I'll be like, screw you, demons. I ain't sleeping in there ever again. It only started because I started sleeping in that room. If I sleep in my brother's room, I'll totally stop. No. All right then. Well, this is the most awkward dinner conversation of all time. Maybe my dad will save me this time. Oh God. Yeah, this is gonna be the worst night by far. Listen to that music. I woke gradually. The room was once again dark. As my eyes adjusted, I could gradually make out the window and the door on the walls, some toys on a shelf and, oh no. Even to this day, I shudder to think of it, for there was no noise. No rusting of sheets, no moving at all. The room felt lifeless, yet not empty. Where was it? It wasn't in the bo It was in your bed?! terrified right now guys oh my god even just the goddamn sound effects are scaring the hell out of me that's totally the sound of the thing in the bed are you gonna look at it Get out of the bed, get the crucifix, man! It took it took the crucifix. Oh. oh. He 
knew I was going to die in that bed if he just laid there. He had to leave the room behind. Realising that it had not stirred when I moved, trying to find the crucifix, I began to have the strangest of thoughts. Oh, don't go back to sleep, dude. That's a terrible idea. The abyss. This, is, this has got to be like the last chapter. This has got. This has got to be where things get totally bonkers. Oh, we're in the ocean. That's pretty cool. I'm just swimming around. I'm a fish. Yee, yee I'm a fish. Yay! Uh, swim down into the ocean depths. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to the right over here. Maybe. Okay. I'm, I actually am a fish. This is so cool. Which way do I go? I go, I go, don't go down, I don't go right, oh, I go left, okay. Swimming around, having a good time. Hello, fishy. How are you guys doing? How's, how's it going, Jeremy? How's it going, Cynthia? Yeah, I still remember our uh, our date. What's for dinner, you say? Tuna. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Alright, I don't know why I'm going into this contraption over here. hope it doesn't crush me. I hope I'm not the tuna. Can fish. Oh, can I go into this door? I have to swim. Like... Actually, where the hell do I go now? I have to press it. Uh, sure. So I hope I have like maybe like mixed lungs with gills. I'm draining the water. You know, I don't want to flop around and splash around like a magic carp or something. I'm a dude now. Jellyfish! That's my dad! I don't even know what the hell is going on! It's totally screwed up. Is there going to be a premise to this? Like an actual storyline? Uh. Okay. Deep water is one of your fears. Okay. Look at that. Look at that one of those creepy fish. That's a lot of reading, guys. You guys can pause and read this if you'd like. Fear of insects, fear of being caught. Uh. What the hell is that thing? But yeah, deep water is one of his uh, big fears, apparently. So that's why he's dreaming about it, and that's because it's one of his fears. Let's run. Oh, it's that, it's that goddamn scary fish. It's an actual creature, that is, guys. Uh, I'm falling down into this hole for whatever reason. My dad's saying goodbye. Oh, that's my bunk bed over there. I'm, just, I'm totally getting pushed into it by something, it looks like. It looks like there's something pushing me down. Bye, world. Yeah, this is a pretty big fall, if I do say so myself, wherever I'm going. Those are just bubbles above my head, right? Oh, I got eaten by a creature of some form now. Things are really not going well for me today. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, dude. Oh, I'm waking back up now, am I? So what was the point of that dream? Oh, what if I was asleep? Hadn't so much as breathed since I oh shit, I didn't read that. Then I, f then I was finally in its grasp, or it was toying with you. Hmm. And now with me under it, pinned against my mattress, with no other mother to protect me, maybe it was holding off, savoring its victory until the last moment, like a wild animal savoring its prey. You know, what? there's actually very possible it's doing that to you, dude. It's gonna like eat you or do something to you. It's gonna run. It's gonna run for the door. Gaunt hand. For poorly formed forearm. My confidence. Disproportionately larger bicep muscle. The arm was outstretched, lying across my chest. His arm was on your chest? Oh my god. It's totally hugging you. I'd have to move. Oh my god, you're going to wake it up if you try and move it. Torn ragged clothing. Oh my god, guys. Oily hair? Touching its oily hair? It has hair? Oh yeah, don't touch its face. You don't even know what I want to know what it looks like. Oh, you still don't know what it looked like. I wonder to this very day what it would have felt, felt like. Dear God, it moved. 
I hope it moved its arm off of you and just kind of like faced the wall and then you ran for it like wow. Slowly, slowly moved out the room. Are we sleeping again? What is this? What is it? Are these just hallucinations? What are these things? Hostia. Where the hell are we now? Yeah, whatever, man. We'll save. It's just, uh, we're pretty small compared to, uh, whatever that is. Yeah, it's a nice day, isn't it? See ya. You, you enjoy yourself out there. Oh, look, it's a, a thing. I have no idea what this thing is, but we're going inside it. And are those, like, sperm cells? What are these things? Hey there, guys. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. That's nice. What about you? What are you going to say? Don't laugh at me, you jerk! <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot! Let's keep going. Alright. Enjoying my company here. Hey there, uh, jellyfish lady. You what? What'd you say? What'd you say to me? Oh, that's nice. Hey there. Hey guys. Can I climb this? Oh, God, some of these things are really bizarre looking, aren't they? The designer of this game had a field day, you know, he just let his imagination run wild. Hey. Having a bath in, like, some red substance. Oh, it's that lady again. Thanks a lot. Oh, come on, stop being a jerk. Really? Am I trapped again? Do I have to talk to these guys? Oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, Alright. Move on without me then, guys. I'm not moving. I'm stuck. Oh, whatever. Can I talk to this? Help! Come on, dude. Come on, please let me out. Can I go this way? Oh, it, it changed! Hey! Who are you? That's totally like the Five Nights at Freddy's music! Please don't do this to me. <laughs> I can't handle that game anymore. Ah! What the hell is that? Beautiful music. Bravo, bravo. Everyone gives you a round of applause. Now please leave. Can I just can I just get out of here? Yeah, for a child I have a vivid imagination, that's for sure. Alright, cool. Maybe I have to touch these things. Can I climb them? Alright, I'm dead again. Sweet. Man, this daytime is taking a long time to come. But honestly, guys, I've been in that position where I've had night terrors when I was a kid, and nighttime felt like an eternity. I would have a nightmare, and it lasted so long. It felt so damn long. And it sucked so bad. You know, because I, I was so scared at night. I had, like, uh, obviously not experience like this, but I had, like, a similar experience. Um, I can tell you about it, like, maybe in a separate video. Um, and maybe in a vlog or something, but I had some, I had some scary shit happen to me when I was a kid. It moved, it was subtle, but its grip on my shoulder and across my body strengthened. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I don't want to cry too. It coiled around him. Of all that happened to me in that room, this was the strangest. Not asleep, man. It's it's looking directly at you. It's sticking out from the wall. Oh my god! It was taking you into the wall. No sunrise? I need to fight against it while the sun comes up. It's the only way. As I fought for my life, the unearthly parasite shifted, slowly pulling itself up my chest. Oh my god. I still remember its breath against my face fell as cold as ice. Sunlight! Yes! Oh. Wait, what? It's squeezing the very life from you? No! Don't die, man. And now I'm dead. The end. <laughs> How would he tell the story if he's dead? I awoke to my father offering to make me some breakfast. I had survived, I had survived the most horrible experience of my life until then and now. 
I moved the bed away from the wall, leaving behind the furniture I had believed would stop that thing from taking a bed. Little did I think that it would try to take mine and me. Weeks passed without incidents, yet on one cold frostbitten night, I awoke to the sound of the furniture where the bunk beds used to be vibra vibrating violently. I lay there sure I could hear a distant wheezing coming from deep within the wall, finally fading into the distance. The following year I was given a larger room on the other side of the house and my parents took that room as their bedroom. They said they didn't need a large room. Oh god, your parents are screwed, man. Just one big enough for a bed and a few things. They lasted 10 days. We moved on the 11th. They finally realized. Fair play. That was a really goddamn well-made game, and I thoroughly enjoyed that, guys. Had incredible atmosphere, fantastic storyline, very vivid and strange arts, and I really loved some of these concepts that this guy made. And you know what? It had a really good narrative. Yeah, you know, I liked it. I liked the way it, the way it went. This was pretty damn awesome, and I was pretty. I was scared. I was real scared, guys. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that game. So guys, that is It Moves. What a fantastic little RPG game there. I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, these videos on this game. And um, leave me suggestions down below for any other games you would like to see me play. But for now guys, that is it. I'm going to head off. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all again very soon, guys. Bye everyone.